let's talk about accuracy and the problems. For simplicity, let's imagine that we have a two class classifier, just class one and class two. Well, usually when we talk about performance of a classifier, we mean accuracy. And accuracy is nothing but number of correctly predicted values or labels uh -huh. come on come on correct predictions over number of total predictions well and of course this is all on the data where we know the labels Otherwise, we are unable to measure the accuracy. So, one problem with this approach is the following. Imagine that this is our complete data set. This is the dimension of our data. And we have 1 through n points. And each one of them has a label. So if we go X and a binary vector Y. So now imagine we've got a data set where we're measuring our accuracy such that, well, zeros and ones, right? such that the class split is uneven or highly skewed. So we have 95% ones and 5% zeros. So in this case, um, any percentage of error uh, will be a large penalty. So for example, oh, any percentage of error on class 1 will be a large penalty. If we have 10% error for class 1 and we have 10% error for class 0. So for class 1 we're missing all 9.5% in this case. And for class 0 we're missing a just half a percent of the total accuracy. So when you're training a model with this highly imbalanced uh, data set, the model or the training algorithm may um, fall into the following problem. It may decide to just focus on this class and the learning rule or the resulting model will be for all x, predict one. So um, the accuracy in this case will be 95% because the error is only 5%, but the problem is uh, the error is only 5% and it's always on class 0. So the problem with this is that class 0 may be the class that we most care about. For example, uh, class 0 uh, may be the class where... Um, the person is unhealthy or a person has cancer needs treatment or something like that it's a rare event but if we miss it it's very dangerous um, so that's one of the problems with um, the accuracy and then what could the solution would be, uh, be and then you'd say right a naive solution is well okay how many samples do we have what is n Imagine our n is, you know, a million. And if n is a million, we could say, well, do we really need a million data points to train a classifier? Don't you remember our support vector machines? We only need sparse supports. And even if we drop some of the, um, you know, uh, some, some of the um, training examples, we still should do fine. 
So why don't we take um, out of that million 5% of class 0, that is everything, and 5% of class 1, or 5% of the total, but 5% of class um, 1. So 10% of the total training data. Now... So we have 100,000 training examples now, and uh, uh, 50,000 is uh, of class 0 and 50,000 of class 1. Okay, well, uh, we can do the training. And this is our naive solution. This is our training data. We just took this 10% magnified and placed them here. This is class 0, this is class 1. Now each of them is 50%, right? And um, then when we're training, we're basically comparing two algorithms. Which one uh, is better, algorithm A or classifier A or classifier B? Let's get this out of our way. Imagine again a situation when class A, well, sorry, classifier A gets class 0 perfectly. But misses Almost the fifth of class one, right? Assigns it to zero. Seventeen percent of class one is assigned to class zero, and um, what is it? Eighty-three percent of class one. This is 100% of class 1. This is fully correct, right? So now, what happens to class B? What B does, on the other hand, Quite opposite. 20% of class 0 is assigned to 1, and 80% is assigned correctly. But class 1, it gets fully correctly 100%. So if we look at this, uh, then the overall accuracy of A, the overall accuracy when we make a choice, right, is 92%. Because, you know, 17% of a half, uh, uh, is our error. And then, um, That'll be around 8% as you see. No. Seven and a half. Uh, for B classifier, our accuracy, our total accuracy is 90%. Okay, so for A, we chose A because the overall accuracy is higher and we don't know better. So if we choose A as a classifier of our original data set, this one, that's how uh, the data is distributed or the class distribution is um, um, spread, um, or the classes are distributed in the wild, then we 
uh, end up with the fact that A gets correctly class 0 all the time uh, well <laughs> uh, that's tricky right um, it over over inflates a little bit right it assigns 20% or 17% of class 1 to class 0 which means that um, the actual accuracy of this class on the data on um, this true data is 84% the actual overall accuracy is 84% whereas if we pick uh, class B the actual overall accuracy is 99% so let's think for a moment we knew that our data is imbalanced we forcefully balanced the data set because our um, sample size allowed that it was fine to use 100,000 of the data points instead of uh, 1 million but then in testing it turned out that overall well and one rebalanced data set classifier A was better but in test data classifier A overall accuracy and again all of those numbers are accuracies essentially here is number of correct to total predicted so it turned out we are picking a perfect classifier or a winner classifier on the balanced data set manually rebalanced data set but in the while it only gets 84 percent correct uh, the worst the inferior classifier that is almost two percent worse in our um, training data is in fact 99 percent accurate but all of that doesn't have much sense either because if we think about it well uh, what does it mean to predict zero incorrectly what does it mean to predict one incorrectly what does it mean to predict zero as one and what is it in terms of the cost or the harm to predict one as zero <laughs>